my channel. My name is Renata and this is Running In Style. This video is all about my pattern haul for this month. Now you might be wondering, well why am I buying more patterns? I should be on a pattern ban, but I'll never learn. I'm trying, but I won't. <laughs> they look so sad and lonely that I had to pick them up. Okay, so I'm going to go right now and show you the patterns that I picked up. Um, all I went to Joann's for was zippers and somehow I managed to come out with a ton of simplicity pattern. So let's start off with the first two patterns that actually propelled me to make purchases when I strictly told myself I'm not going to buy any more patterns. I saw the Madeline video on their channel for simplicity and I thought well wow it'll be kind of cool to make my own bras. I've thought about it but I felt that was you know out of my comfort zone but since I made my jeans I think it's not that hard and I can probably do this so I saw it and I just decided to pick these two patterns up it's simplicity 8228 and 8229 so this is the pattern you get in this pattern there is the bra the panties so one's a halter and then the other one is a racer back with lace which is very cute Let's this up a little closer there's a racer back and the halter I thought that this would be a really simple way to introduce myself to try this project out because it doesn't have any bones and they're just using the lace to construct the piece so it is a very lightweight bra and I think that would be really something that I think that's something that I can handle the second one is a little bit more intermediate to advance at least I think so because this one has the underwire on it um, and then version B version B has a no version A has the lace overlay and version B doesn't and then the underwear as you can see oh, she does. yeah the underwear for this one is a bikini. Let me see. It just says panties and knit. So these underpinnings are going to be my sewing when I have downtime and I want to try something quick and fast. The next pattern is this Mimi G. D0524 and I believe this this numbering here is just because it's the full numbering when they have like oh these are the full patterns you can purchase um, at jo Joann's otherwise if you go into their like cabinet it has a, another number and when I find that or if I do I'll just place it right under this image but this is the pattern and it's a jeans, it's a fitted jeans and a knit jacket. It says here the pattern pieces included are for slim, average and a curvy fit jeans. So this fills the need across the sizing and I'm really excited to see how the, the fit is compared to my second version of Ginger Jeans B. Next up I have this Simplicity dress. It is um, it's a knit dress and I wanted a knit dress because I have a lot of knit fabric and I would like to have a few pieces that 
aren't always for woven, especially since it's getting colder and knits seem to be the best fabric to keep you warm. So I really like this version here and it is version B. So version B is the seller for me. I like that one a lot and hopefully I can get to produce it sometime this month or during the month of October. And what would I do without some sweaters during the fall season? We all need those. And these, again, are from the Simplicity Fall Catalog. This one is 8218. It's an easy to sew. It has um, a jacket with length variation and a fur vest. So this is the pattern right here and those are the four versions. So it looks really fun and it looks like um, something that will be very warm and you can use with cozy fabric and I can't wait to try version B because I feel like I'm wrapped up in a warm fuzzy towel with that version. The next one is 8217 and this one is a lined coat or vest and I think vest for the fall we're, we're, ugh. I think the vest for the fall was really big last year and it just continued through this year this was the selling point for me I really liked how that vest look and the fabric just said warmed and the the recommended fabric for this is brocade, denim, linen types, pique, poplin, tweed, twill, lightweight wool types, ponte. So it also is a very versatile piece because you can pick a lot of warm material content for this design. So that's a plus for all of us. And lastly, I picked up this Simplicity 8212, which is a legging pattern because, yes, if you watched my fabric haul part one, you will know that I purchased some athletic fabric, active wear, and I needed a pattern. And obviously, I thought I didn't have any but I came out and I was truthful to you guys. I lied. I had a few. So, I really like the different pieces you can do with this legging. That didn't come out right. What I like about this is the variation. That you can mix and match patterns, um, your fabric, to create your own individual active wear I mean seriously I love brand name active wear but sometimes I feel like I might be running past my twin and I don't always want that so this is a, my opportunity to stamp my name on my gear and I love it so this is the line drawing which gives you tons of options and here is the modeled version so those are the patterns that I have for the month of September which of course I should not have purchased because I have too much already anyway <laughs> this is the end of my video I really hope you like what you see and if you do don't forget to click the subscribe button and follow running in style on Instagram Twitter and Facebook have a wonderful day bye